friends, you must be wondering why this conceptual surgery concept was thought of. The aim of becoming a doctor is not just a good technician and when it comes to surgery a good cutting and suturing but the perioperative management medicine is if not more 50 percent art and 50 percent science when it comes to an art the art of communicating with the patient the art of winning winning over the confidence of a patient the art of being empath empathic developing an empathy for the patient And for all these things, you need to touch the patient. In good old days, when these fancy investigations were not available, which you young people are very fortunate to have. In my time, we just had an X-ray chest and a fancier one, barium series of the gastrointestinal tract, intravenous pyelography, and maybe some centers tomography. We didn't have the facilities to do fancy investigations of the blood. We couldn't measure the various hormones of the blood. Just to take a second, the first case of parathyroid adenoma I was involved in, we didn't have PTH level. In our institution, in our city, PTH was not available. We were dependent totally on serum calcium level. We had all those handicaps, but the clinical skills, the gut feeling, the repeated communication with the patient made all the difference. Today that heart of clinical science is gradually being replaced by fancier and fancier and fancier investigations. And we would like you people not to lose that hard component of medicine. Not only it is a necessity, it is also, if you look at carefully, one of the aim of any resident is to pass exams. And you don't pass exam merely on the basis of MCQs and uh, investigative analysis. We want you to communicate with the patient and in turn communicate with your senior colleagues or would-be examiners so that you can pass your examination. And to keep that skill intact of clinical evaluation, applying the clinical science, this concept of conceptual surgery was established. You might see many like me, gray-haired person who would be talking to you. You might be wondering what the hell are they talking about. 
why do we need need to palpate the neck why do we need to palpate the axilla when we are going to get ultrasound examination done mind you patient would never be satisfied you would never be satisfied and that heart should not die we want that art to persist we want you to pick up those skills to become a better human being to be become a better doctor with these ideas this conceptual surgery has been thought of hope you will improve hope you would like and hope you would continue with the tradition of keeping the art component of medicine intact thank you so much